Hello and welcome to ITNs. So I hope you guys are learning at the right pace, right? So we started off with session on basics of Python. Then we looked at installing Python and PyCharm on Windows and Linux machines, right? Now, uh, post that we have covered quite a lot of things. Uh, we looked at the logical arithmetic operators. Uh, we looked at strings, right? Now, in this session, we are going to start with variables, right? So uh, variables is not going to be the long video, it's going to be the short video, right? So with variables, uh, we should be covering the key of factors, key basics about uh, Python. Now, one thing I wanted to keep you, I wanted to talk to you about uh, is um, programming, right? Now programming, we have, uh, you can be a programmer uh, or you can be a pro programmer, right? Now. The only difference between programmer and a pre-programmer or pro-programmer, sorry, pro-programmer is, yeah, we are going to start from the pre-programmer and we want to be a pro-programmer, right? So the the difference between a programmer and a pro-programmer is that a pro-programmer will understand the logic about the requirement and they will actually work on the codes far lesser in the far lesser lines as compared to a normal programmer so that is what we are going to achieve yeah so guys remember you have to keep yourself motivated right you're learning on a technology which is which might be new to you guys right but yeah uh, you devote your time 30 minutes a day and you have to do some practice right and the more you practice the more better pro programmer are you going to be right so you keep following on these sessions and we will definitely go to the level where we, we are going to be pro programmer right okay guys uh, i'll see you back in this session great thank you Alright, welcome back. So what are variables? In layman terms, variables are considered as containers which can be used to store values. So let's take an example of a shopping bag which you are using to store groceries. They can be another bag to keep the new clothes that you have bought. right? In Python terms, shopping bag is an example of a variable and items that you have kept on the in the shopping bag are termed as values. So in technical terms, variables are referred to the location of the memory on at which the variables are stored or the values of the variables are stored. So variables are nothing but reserved memory location to store values. That means that when you create a variable, you reserve some space in the memory. right? So in Python, variables do not use explicit declaration. The declaration happens automatically when you assign a value to the variable, right? Like how how you have in Java, you have to initialize a variable type and then accordingly you, you assign the data to it. But in Python, it ha happens automatically. The operand to the left hand side to the equal to sign is called variable while to the right hand side it is called value now let's look at some example okay x equals to nine All right i actually missed the quotes so x equals to nine okay hide under y equals to i give a value as uh, numbers 16 right and if i have to take the value of x i key in x and enter so i got the output as 9 and if i want to see the value of y i hit y and i get the value of y that is 16 right so as you can see don't need to provide data type you, you when assigning value to the variables like um, that in Java 
right you assigned a value of x uh, of uh, 9 to x and value of 16 to y you didn't have to assign uh, the data type to x and y it was automatically uh, assigned right so that's that's the i mean that's uh, how uh, python works right so in automatically functions in the backend according to the data assigned to the object so this is why Python is dynamically typed language, right? Now let's look at the memory location of X and Y, okay? So for this, we will use a function um, that is ID. Uh, you don't have to worry about the functions. We have not yet touch, uh, touched the topic about functions till now, but we are going to discuss in detail in the coming sessions. So stay tuned. And for now, you, you consider that we are going to use a function, right? So what I do is ID I do ID and I get the value of X. Now this will give me the memory location of X, correct? I hit enter. Okay, so I've got the uh, this is the memory location 56550080. Now let me find out the memory location of Y. Okay, so I go to different memory location, right? This gives the reference object in the memory. Okay, so now let's see uh, if I if I give uh, z is equals to x. Okay, so I give z is equals to x, right? Now I let's see if I do id z. Yeah, so z is a new variable that I have this. Uh, I mean that I have created and it is keeping the value of x correct okay so should it be keeping the value the memory location of uh, the x is the output right and this is the memory location of x right 56550080 and then we gave uh, z is equals to x so that means whatever value of x we are assigning it to z and as we can see the memory location of z now it is the same as x okay now let's have a look id okay uh, id then do i get the same output okay so as you can see x z and then are referencing to the same memory location right yes so I mean that proves that the address location is same yeah now let's look at assigning value name to a variable a okay so a is equal to sorry name okay now you can say that a memory loca memory location should be same uh, let's have a look because uh, we can check it out what is the memory location of a right this is same right as we got for x as we got for z and as we got for n so uh, we have got the same memory location for a yeah right now let's take another example p is equals to 10 Q is equal to 10 okay let's check the memory location of P Q and 10 P close bracket enter yeah we got one memory location 176861804 correct let's check for Q Yeah, we got the same. Now let's check for 10. Yeah, as you can see, the memory location for P, Q, and 10 are same. Right? That proves that the value is stored in the memory location, which will be same if you assign the value to a different variable. Okay. Now let's see another example. A is equals to 20. So let's check ID of A. 
oh sorry uh, id you remember uh, python is case sensitive okay so we we got this memory location right now if you put b is equals to a okay so what will be the id for b okay same as a right and it will be definitely same as 20 isn't it guys right so we can see variables are mutable meaning it can change right so it has it is it is the uh, reference to a uh, memory object right so so that's all i wanted to cover about variables for now um and um remember guys so this is just the start uh, for the things that are coming up uh, in the future sessions right if you have any queries you can post it down or uh, you can put in the comment section and i'll revert back to you with the uh, answers to those okay okay so stay tuned by clicking on the subscribe icon and get notification by clicking on the bell icon until next time keep watching and keep learning Thank you.